Let's get to it. Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some destiny. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. All right, Rise of Irons here, and right now I am streaming it live on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to unlock all of the Iron Lord gear. First off, you want to go to your new record book and break the seal on it, okay? That's going to kick this thing off. Now, it's got the similar format to what we did from Moments of Triumph. The more you get done, the more you unlock in terms of gear. Now, all the gear that you can get rewarded for Iron Lord gear is going to be 340 light. I said in my previous video, the grind to 385 is going to be a lengthy one. Now the footage you're seeing in the background, thanks to Activision, they kindly flew me out to Bungie Studios, so here's where I went through the record book. Now look at that ghost shell, okay? Now as much as I like to keep my fallen ghost shell, well fallen glimmer ghost shell on, I think I'm going to have to sport that one. But yeah, you're going to get a ship, there's going to be emblems at different points, and when we go through all the things you need to do within this record book, it is very lengthy, okay? Uh, they want to keep us busy for a very long time. You're not going to burn through the content, well, aside from the fact that 385 is going to take a long time to hit. But the amount of things to do in this record book is just, it's enormous. There is a couple of pages worth. Now, I'm going to show you all the PvE stuff, okay? And check out the shotgun here. Winter's End, 340 light. Going to go through the perks real quick here. I'm going to show you all the PvE stuff. There's a whole page for raid stuff, but... It has all question marks on it, so I don't know if by the time this video goes live, if all of that will be in there. Probably it's still going to be question marked out, as I'm calling it, <laughs> until the raid comes out this Friday. Now, the Days of Iron Ornament, that you can get from Radiant Treasure or from here, and that's going to make your Iron Lord gear look eh, not too bad to straight fire. And I just can't believe I said I hate that term, straight fire. Anyway, it's going to make your Iron Lord gear set ablaze. So anyway, let's go in and take a look at the PvE stuff to do to complete your record book. Now, just keep in mind, I'm not showing you the first page of the record book because it's early in Rise of Iron, just kicked off, and there's a bunch of spoilers in there. I don't want to ruin it for you just yet, okay? So, let's jump into the other PvE stuff to do to complete your record book. Now, the first one's going to be Meticulous Collector, and that's collect 15 of the Dormant Siva Clusters. I get a feeling there's going to be more than that. I'm pretty sure the other exotic quests have them involved as well. Next up is What's the Use? where you're going to have a number of consumables and like keys and things that you're going to need to use. We saw some of those in my Archon's Forge video, like Siva Offering, Splicer Keys, and so forth. But I'm going to show you my inventory from when I went to Bungie. You can see there, Siva Cache Key. That's what you got to use when you're in the raid. So there's going to be certain chests that you need to open up using those in the raid. Now the Splicer Intel Relay, it says, use the data to access the old highway and disrupt Splicer activity. Now I did this when I was in the Plaguelands, playing out in Bungie, but I can't show it to you. You guys will find out on your own, but long story short, there's a number of consumables. Okay, then we got Vigilant Scout, so Plagueland patrols, you gotta do 30 of them. Next up, you gotta kill 2,000 of the enemy combatants in the Plaguelands, so that one's called Taking Back the Plaguelands, that shouldn't be too hard. Archon's Forge, you gotta complete Archon's Forge 20 times. Uh, I don't think it has to be on any specific level, tier 1, 2, Three, one should be fine. All right, next up we have Team Player Plaguelands Gold Public Events. You got to do 15 of those. Next up we have Prove Your Metal, which is complete bounties for the Iron Lords. It's probably Shiro Forest bounties. Next up we have Treasured Possessions, and it's simply pick up 15 of the patrol chests in the Plaguelands. Now next up is all of the Raid Wrath of the Machine stuff, and then also PvP. I'm assuming the uh, Raid stuff's question marked out, and we'll see that all when the Raid comes out on Friday, which I'll be streaming right here on YouTube. Now, I'm really hoping that we get a record book per character, and that it's not just one record book across all characters. I think it would be, well, it's lengthy as is, but I want it to be longer. That's just me. You know what, you guys let me know in the comment section. Do you want it longer, or do you want it just one record book for all three characters? I want one per character, but that's just me. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying Rise of Iron. And, of course, I'm streaming right now live on YouTube. So, anyway, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check my stream usually on YouTube, sometimes on Twitch. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir. Vladimir.